family. It's great. We had a tremendous global conference, GC. Going to the next level, we had everybody giving a testimony. What are they planning for? What is the motivation to go to the next level? Wow, it was just an, a charged atmosphere. Faith, the speakers, the workshop, uh, the sessions, the worship, everything had come together. This is an amazing GC. We pray that you will join us next time or the church would move to the next level as well with all these leaders being encouraged. And we really want to pray God will move HIM to the next level. We had testimonies from our brother from Africa, DRC, Pastor Mapia. He is so inspired and so encouraged by HIM supporting his, uh, his work building churches in DRC that in spite of the dangers and death that they face, he's rising up, believing God to plant churches. We have testimony from Pastor Ravi in Hyderabad, in India itself. He is enthusiastically doing everything possible. Training, business, going all out, planting churches everywhere. It's amazing. And then we have our brothers from Europe. They're here, West Germany, uh, West Europe, East Europe, you know. God is just moving. God is just moving in our churches around the world. So I'm going to encourage you, plenty of testimonies from all over. God bless you. You want to see the favor of God last in your life? You want to see the favor of God continue in your life? It's a walk of obedience and a walk of faithfulness over a lifetime. The very important reason why you and I need to grow to the next level is because we want to fulfill the Great Commission. We want to fulfill the Great Commission. That is why it is important for us to grow. You see, we're not just growing for ourselves, although that is important. We're not just growing to please God, although that is fundamental. But because we are leaders, we have a role. We need to grow. Because God he loves us, He calls us His children. I don't know about you, but this is a privilege that God has given to each one of us. He Yet sometimes, even as believers, we may not know how privileged we are. Do you know that your style of management can actually stop people from growing. Your style of management can actually hinder people from growing and or going to the next level. We must understand this because if we don't realize this, without understanding all these things, uh, we are the good heart. We may still actually unknowingly be holding people back. He said, you do what I command you, then you're my disciples. Now, so you say, well, what are you talking about, Pastor Gordon? Well, Christian, to me, means a Christianized person. But the word disciple literally means a disciplined one, a learner, a pupil. And I see a huge difference between being a Christian and being a disciple.